Hey there, and welcome to No Recipe Required. So, one of my favorite things is to uh, you know take kind of standard ingredients and use them in unexpected ways. Today, I'm going to use some orzo pasta, which is um, it is a pasta, but it's a little tiny, tiny shaped pasta. It looks a lot like a grain of rice, and we're going to use it to make a risotto, which is normally made of rice. The uh, the technique is essentially the exact same, but obviously we're using pasta. We're going to add some uh, summer vegetables in into it and make an absolutely perfect orzo risotto with summer vegetables. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for our orzo risotto, I'm just going to um, saute off some corn. This is fresh corn that I just chopped off the cob. I just want to get a quick sear on the corn. So we're going to toss it in the pan and uh, let it go for probably two or three minutes. I like to cook this ahead of time so it doesn't overcook in the pasta. Okay, for our orzo risotto, I just sauteed off a little bit of bacon, little bacon lardones. And uh, I've got those in my pan. I'm going to remove those and we're going to add them back at the end. But I definitely want the um, yeah, the pan drippings in there. I've got a shallot diced along with a garlic clove diced. This one was pretty big, you know, maybe use a couple garlic cloves. And I'm just going to put those in over medium heat. Um, I probably don't, I may need salt in there, but frankly, you know, bacon's got a little bit of salt in it too, so I'm probably not going to add salt just yet. We'll wait and, uh, we'll wait and taste it. I'm going to let these just soften up, and then we are uh, going to add our orzo. Okay, after our um, garlic and shallot is um, softened up, I'm going to add my orzo pasta to the pan. Now, orzo pasta, it is pasta, but it's these, uh, these little grains that are shaped an awful lot like rice. And what's, uh, what's very cool about it is you can use it in dishes that call for rice. So um, here we're essentially going to make a risotto um, from it. You know, the starch in the, um, in the pasta acts a lot like the starch in rice, um, in a boreo rice. Not quite the same, but pretty darn close. And it's got the benefit of not taking quite as long as, um, as risotto. And uh, I absolutely love them. So we're going to essentially treat it the same way. I'm just going to let the pasta toast here for a couple minutes. I've got a pot of chicken stock on the stove. It's heated up. And then we're just going to ladle stock in, just like we would a risotto. So after my orzo has just toasted for a few minutes, I'm going to add a couple ladles of hot chicken stock to the pan. You could easily do this with, uh, with water as well. Beef stock, chicken stock, even vegetable stock if you want to keep it vegetarian. And um, you know, stir that up just like we would a risotto. And then um, you know, over medium heat where it's just, just simmering, um, we're going to let the pasta absorb that water, some of it's going to evaporate, and we're going to cook it in the same style as risotto, and then uh, we'll add our corn, asparagus, bacon back at the end. Okay, after seven or eight minutes, you want to start checking the pasta. You know, it may take longer, up to 10, 12, whatever it takes. You're looking for that nice al dente finish. We've got uh, the corn that we sauteed off earlier. I'm going to add that in. I've got some blanched uh, asparagus, about the same amount that we blanched shock, so it's essentially cooked through. I've got our bacon, we'll add that. And then I've got some Parmesan cheese as well. That's probably a quarter cup. I'm just going to stir this in, let it all come up to temperature. Then we'll, uh, we'll do a final taste and serve it up. Okay, everything's up to temperature. I just gave it a little taste and needed some salt and pepper, so I'm going to add that. And then to give it just a uh, final little shot of both flavor and nice creamy texture, I'm going to add a, uh, about a tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of sour cream. Now you can use a number of different things for sour cream. You can use creme fraiche, that's what I use in a lot of risottos. You can certainly use a little bit of cream. Um, if you use one of those, you may want to add a little bit of lemon. Sour cream is, already has a little bit of that sourness, um, and I've got it handy. So I'm going to add that, and that's just like I said, going to give it a little bit of creaminess. We're going to stir that in, and then we are ready to serve our mock risotto, orzo risotto. Okay, let's go ahead and serve up this beautiful risotto made out of orzo. 
Anytime, uh, you know, if you feel it's too thick, you can always add just a little bit more chicken stock, a little bit more cream, sour cream, anything like that to thin it out. But it should kind of sit and relax on the plate, not be a big clump. And you're going to love it. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.